Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello, and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. It's the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions in the worlds of TV, film, pop culture, social media, everything really depending on the guests. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Miliotis. And then on social media, you know me as Petey Beats. You will recognize, you will soon recognize my guest from the upcoming series on Netflix called Sweet Magnolias, which comes out May 19th on Netflix. We're with Logan Allen. Logan, welcome to Pop Alternative. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to be here. No problem. So it's exciting. I mean, it's it's a show that you've been kind of working on for a while. And it's finally going to be seen by the masses. It must feel pretty cool right now. Oh, my gosh. We poured our heart and soul into this. And, I mean, it was the best cast, the best crew. And... And we're just really excited to see the final product. Absolutely. Whenever, you know, you act, whether you are a musician, whether you're a writer, you're all storytellers. When did Logan Allen decide that he wanted to be a storyteller? You know, man, um, I really started out acting just wanting to be on TV, right? I didn't really have a passion for it yet. And after a while, you know, I did like photo shoots and stuff like that. And then when I really started getting into commercials and actually, you know, do a little bit of acting, um, I really started liking it. And then I got my first Nickelodeon show in 2015 called Tali in the Kitchen. Mm -hmm. And when I got that, I mean, that was like the breakthrough, man. You know, I was like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I loved it. And, uh, you know, now I'm here. So I think that was the the real point where I, I realized I wanted to do this. And I feel like it's not mentioned that much because you mentioned Nickelodeon. I mean, that is you see a lot of people that are in a lot of shows on Netflix right now. Like their start right. was on like Nickelodeon or Disney Channel. Yeah. Like, I feel like that gets forgotten a little bit. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah which is really cool. Another thing too that I find really cool is you were on an episode of Creep Show. Yeah. Which, yeah. And I, I'm, a, I'm a huge horror, horror guy. Oh, dude, same here, man. I love, you know, Halloween, Nightmare, all those old classics. So this is really cool because it's a horror anthology series based on the old Creep Show films. And I'm a yeah. big, you know, fan of the old films too. Um, Greg Nicotero is a big executive producer, which I'm a big fan of. Love his work. Uh, David Bruckner was a director. He has a couple films on Netflix, really awesome guy. And, uh, you know, this is my first horror thing I've done. And, you know, like I said, I'm a big horror fan. So I, I was so excited to be on this and it was so much fun. And, uh, yeah, that actually is going to premiere on AMC tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time. So it's exciting, man. I can't wait for everybody to see it. Well, you are, you're my third creep show guest. Oh, okay. So I've had Chad Michael Collins. Okay. And I've had Melissa St. Amand, who is on Ozark, because she's in an episode, too. Oh, that's awesome, man. And it's yeah. like everyone just says that it was like the most fun, like, shooting that project. Oh, my gosh, dude. Everybody was so laid back and so much fun to be around. It was a blast. I, it was so much fun. Even though I only shot for, I think it was like a five-day shoot. It was really, really quick. But, I mean, it was, a, it was a blast, man. Like I said, I got to work with some people that I admire so much, like Greg Nicotero, David Bruckner. And it was just, I just had an amazing time. No, absolutely. There's so much amazing content right now, especially during like this whole time of COVID-19 and, you know, quarantine. Yeah. There's a lot of people watching a lot of things on, on, uh, like on TV and on Netflix. Netflix specifically is yeah. just putting out unbelievable amount of content right now. Right. And it's just like, people are kind of ready to like line them up and like put like, and, and watch them all. Like, I don't feel like, yeah. like, Okay, keep them coming, Netflix. Hey, you know man, what I mean? That's what I've been doing. I've been like living off of Netflix right now, you know? So, hey, I'm loving everything they're dropping. What have you watched uh, specifically on Netflix that you've really been liking lately, Logan? Look, dude, here's the thing about me, okay? I like to rewatch the same stuff over and over again. I barely get to new shows. Like, I rewatch, <laughs> you know, The Office, uh, Stranger Things, The 100. I watch the same shows over and over again. I barely get a new. Now, one thing, I've watched like one episode of Outer Banks, and I want to continue to watch that. But once again, it's just, I. I like lean toward a couple shows and just stay on them. It's You're mentioning all these shows. We've interviewed people from all those shows. Man, that's crazy, man. I, I love it. Outer so Banks crazy. specifically is just doing unbelievable right now. Like the fan oh base God. of that is crazy. No, yeah, definitely. From Like I said, I've only watched the first episode and I want to get back to it so so bad. Um, but it's amazing. And the acting, it's incredible. The cinematography is, is just, oh my gosh, it's unbelievable. What is your favorite? It might be difficult to answer, but what is your favorite, like, or maybe a couple of things. What do you like the most about acting? Like actually going and like working and like shooting the scenes and everything. What do you like the most about that? You know, I don't think there's, it's anything specific. You know, I think there's a lot of different factors. Um, I think the people you meet, you know what I mean? I got, especially with Sweet Magnolias and Creepshow, 
I get to work with people that I'm a fan of. You know what I mean? Uh, Creep Show, like I said, Greg and and David, and then in Sue Magnolias, you have uh, Jamie Lynn Spears, Joanna Garcia Swisher, Chris Klein, Justin Brewing, all these guys that I love. You know what I mean? And and just sitting on set and talking with them and seeing their different approaches to their characters. You know what I mean? It was it was unbelievable. So I think the people you meet is one of my favorite and. You know, also just making people happy, I think, is something that, that I love too, you know, and, and I, like I said, put all my heart and soul into all my different projects. And the main thing I want to do is just make people happy, you know, especially during a time like this, where they can just kind of get away from the world and just, you know, have some fun watching, you know, some Netflix or, or Shutter, whatever it may be. What can we expect from Sweet Magnolias, like without kind of giving away, but like, what can we expect from that show, Logan? You know, it's a very... It, it, it's a show about relationship. It's a show about heart uh, and love and family. It's it's something that I think a lot of people are gonna you know need right now, you yeah. know. And it's a big emotional roller coaster, right? The main character Maddie is going through a divorce, and it's really her and her two lifelong best friends kind of navigating through it in the small town of Serenity, South Carolina. So in that small town, everybody knows everybody. Everybody's gossiping. You know what I mean? And you really can't keep any secrets. Um, so I think Sweet Magnolias, like I said, it's a big uh, emotional roller coaster. You'll be laughing at some parts, crying in others. And I think it's just, it's a show that, that also appeals to all audiences. You know what I mean? It doesn't really matter what age you are. Uh, you're, you're really going to enjoy it. You worked on a lot of really cool projects in the past. Was something like Sweet Magnolias genre wise, something that you really wanted to work on? You know, I haven't worked really in the hardcore drama yet. You know what I mean? And I haven't been able to like actually show my emotional side of acting. Right. And I think you guys will will definitely see that in the show. And that's something that I love. You know, I love the more serious stuff. That's why like the first serious thing I did was creep show. And that wasn't long ago. We filmed that a little over a year ago. So, you know, and now we got this one too. So, you know, like I said, I love the serious type acting and I really got to do that with creep show and sweet magnolias. And I just absolutely love that. I don't know if you've heard of it, but and it kind of creep show obviously is is a little bit more out there and there's more gore in it. But there's this Norwegian anthology series called Blood Ride, which is on Netflix. Okay, and I it's haven't... yeah. Have you heard of it? No, no, I haven't. Well, it's more. It's like Black Mirror and Twilight Zone. It's six episodes, six different stories. Okay, um, they don't have to do with each other, but right. there's some wild stuff in it. And I feel like the anthology genre is really like taking over a little bit so to speak dude i love it dude it, it's so much fun because you know even though they're quick and, and and really short it's still fun to see you know that amount of stories and that amount of time and i feel like i don't know i'm i'm a big fan of the anthology series too it's something that i've always really liked we talked about tv you've been in some films specifically i believe birdie the dolphin right yeah yeah bernie the dolphin one and two two movies yeah yeah so uh so bernie the dolphin was actually filmed in my home state of florida um we filmed that over in clearwater tampa area and up in saint augustine um and it's a really fun family film about a sun a sunburned dolphin uh that we try to you know nurse back to health and there's all actually kevin sorbo is in it Uh, Mm -hmm. i know a lot of you guys know him as hercules uh he's the bad guy in the film playing winston mills and uh like i said it's it's a it's just it's a fun movie. You can sit down with your family for like, you know, family movie night or something and just sit down and really enjoy. Uh, that was really, really fun. I, I really enjoyed that because I got to like play with dolphins the entire time, you know? I for mean, sure. who doesn't want to play with dolphins? We got to swim with them, do all kinds of stuff. It was amazing, man. That that experience in particular was one of my favorites just because... Was the, was the weather good too? No. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we, filmed it, we filmed that in the winter, okay? It was probably like 40, 50 degrees out up in North Florida by St. Augustine. Oh my gosh. It was freezing, but you know <laughs> the production took very good care of us, and we had like heaters on set and stuff. But oh my gosh, let me tell you something, man. You hated the water scenes because you did not want to get in there. It was it was crazy. Um, the show's like you, you film the show. The show's in the can. The show Sweet Magnolias. It's ready to kind of get out there to the masses. It's kind of like calm before the storm right now. Yes. Are you prepared for a lot of the craziness and? You know, I'm like stuff that's going to happen when it comes out. Right. You know, I'm excited, but really nervous at the same time. You know, I'm nervous because, you know, I'm, 
I want people to be happy with my performance and I'm a big self critic. You know, I don't like watching my own stuff. So I really hope people enjoy it. I think they will. Um, but I, like I said, I just want to bring pure joy to people, especially during a time like this. So I'm really nervous about that. Um, and I'm really excited just because I love this show from all the footage that I've seen. I haven't seen the entire thing, but from the footage that I've seen, it's been incredible. And I think, like I said, it's going to be a show that so many people will en enjoy. And, uh, I'm just really excited for it, man. So, um, yeah, that, that's that's basically what I think. Besides acting, what is Logan Allen into in terms of like hobbies and sort of things? Like what 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 like like outside of kind of the acting crap, what are you interested in? I'm a big sport fan, uh, in particular football. I'm a big I'm in NFL, college football, definitely college football. Um, I actually grew up playing football, believe it or not. I played tackle football growing up and I was like in kindergarten, first grade playing tackle football. Um, I played a little center on a, on a team that actually went undefeated two years in a row, believe it or not. Wow. Um, so that was really, really fun. So football is a big you know part of my life. So if I wasn't in the acting business and in, in industry, I would definitely be doing something football related if it was a you know uh, uh, analyst or something like that or a player. I don't know what I could do with a player you know, with my size. I'm really, really small, but um, you know just being in, in that kind of you know field of being uh, around football is something that I love. Was there a point in time in your acting career where whether it was a specific, movie or specific project or specific scene that it kind of clicked where you're like yep like this is what i want to do like when did you re when did you start to get that kind of like assure like assurance that this was what you want to do you know like i said it all took place on that sweet uh on that sweet magnolias on the talia in the kitchen set back in 2015 the nickelodeon show i think it was probably a couple scenes in you know and, and i remember the first day i was on set you know, I wasn't the main character so that I filmed a lot of my scenes, you know, the same day or the same few days. Yeah. So, I mean, like the third scene in, I was like, man, this is so much fun. And I already had a great relationship with the cast, you know. So just being, you know, with some close friends of mine, do, you know, doing th this amazing thing that I, I love, it was it was an honor. And, and I knew right then and there, this is what I want to do. I love it. It's so much fun. And, you know, because you really get to bring a character to life. You know what I mean? Sure. And yeah, you get a character description and a breakdown, but you can also bring yourself into a character. That's what makes characters unique. You know what I mean? And like, that's why, you know, if you see, you know, s someone play a, a character and another person play, a, you know, the same character, that's why it's a little different because they put themselves into it. So, you know, I absolutely love that. So yeah, that, that's pretty much. Well, that. I've had a lot of people come on my show. They say essentially they're like, I'm an actor. I get to play p pretend for a living. Right. No, totally, man. And, and that's the fun. You know what I mean? You get to do whatever you want with that character. And I absolutely love that. I mean, every set that I've been on, the writers are like, hey, you know, here's the breakdown, but, you know, bring yourself into the character. That's what makes that character lovable. You look at everybody, you know, like Heath Ledger's Joker, for example. Oh, my gosh. You know what I mean? Incredible. You know what I mean? He had his own take on the character, had fun with it. And now, I mean, come on. It's the best Joker, obviously. Incredible, incredible job. No, absolutely. No. Well, Logan, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turn It the chat a little bit, man. Hey, no problem, man. I really appreciate it. Where can people follow you on social media and they can look out for Sweet Magnolias on Netflix, correct? Yes. Uh, so I'm on Instagram and Twitter with It's Logan Allen. That's my username. And yeah, Sweet Magnolias uh, on Netflix May 19th and Creep Show premiering tonight, May 11th at 10 o'clock Eastern time on AMC. Amazing. So much going on right now. Oh my gosh, definitely, man. It, it's a blessing. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. I wish you all the best. All right, man. Thank you. Well, this has been Pop Turnip, youtube.com slash Pop Turnip. For previous episodes, be sure to watch Logan Allen in Sweet Magnolias, May 19th on Netflix. And until next time, this is Logan Allen and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnip. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnip on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnip on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.